Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Zoe ZT-102L multimeter with inductance measuring. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So let's take a look at the manual. I'm not going to cover everything in here. You will want to read through all of this, but here are the specs. You can pause and read through those. So this does AC and DC voltage. It does AC, DC current. It also does resistance, capacitance, frequency, inductance, duty cycle, diode, continuity, and temperature. So the display is 6,000 counts, has data hold, backlight, low battery function. It also has non-contact voltage sensing. And here are the instructions. So let's take a look at the parts here. We have our leads, comes with a temperature probe. Here's the meter. So it comes with a pouch, drawstring pouch. See what it needs for batteries. Okay, get a screwdriver. Okay, that screw is not captive. You want to make sure you don't lose that. Pull this out. Takes two AAA batteries. Have some AAAs here. So this is a two-piece door. So I want to make sure I put that under there. And now I can put the screw in. Looks like there's protective film here over the label and the screen. I'll pull that off. So we can turn this here to switch to the different modes. So it's currently reading DC volts. We can press cell rel. And we can go to AC, we have frequency, duty cycle, and back to volts. Next we have millivolts, it looks like. Then AC millivolts, that was DC, then AC millivolts. Frequency, duty cycle again, I think. And here we have degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, and DC millivolts. Let's go to the next one. Here we have ohms, continuity, diode, capacitance, and back to ohms. Here we have non-contact voltage. This is inductance. We have milliamps and amps. So let's test this out. I'll get the probes here. It comes with these caps in the end. I'll pull those out. I'll put the black lead in calm. I'll put the red one over here to the right on the input. So you'll want your leads in these two inputs. Unless you're on amps, then you'll go to 10 amps. But even milliamps stays in here. And here we have our leads. So you can see there's just a little bit of the conductor showing. If we need to have more conductor, we can pull these off. Like so. So with the sheath off, it's CAT2 600 volt. With it on, it's CAT2 1000 volt or CAT3 600 volt. So taking those off changes the rating. I don't deal with any of the high voltage stuff, so I'll probably just leave those off. So here we'll switch to volts, and this does have a kickstand on it. So we can set it like that. It has a backlight too, if we hold down the blue button. You can see it has a backlight. See if I can get a good, I think that's a pretty good angle there. So let's start off by measuring a battery. I have a AAA battery here. I'll hold it onto the battery. So we're measuring 1.309 volts. Let's try it the opposite way. And here we have negative 1.310 volts. So you can see the negative sign right there. So this can also hold. So I'll measure this battery and I can press hold. Then if I let go of it, it will keep the value. Press hold again, it will get rid of it. I can also do relative measurements. So I'm measuring this voltage at 1.309. I'll hold this down, it beeped. Now when I take it off, it's gonna be negative 1.308 or nine, yeah. So here I'll measure a second battery and we'll see what the difference is between these two batteries. So they're a thousandth of a volt difference. So I'll hit select and now we'll go to AC. So I'll measure the line voltage here. Now you don't want to do this unless you know how to do this properly. So here I'm getting 123.6 volts. Now here we have frequency. And I'm getting 60.01 Hertz. Let's go to the next mode. And that's the millivolts and stuff. Let's go to the next one. While well, I have the power here, let's actually switch to non-contact voltage. And here we can hear that beep since I'm holding it near a power wire. 
So you could use that to tell if a line is powered or not. Now with a non-contact voltage, you do want to test that on a known live wire and then test the unknown wire because you want to confirm it's working before you use it. So let's go to this mode. So we're currently on ohms. So here I have a little resistor, let's test it. So we got 0.6 ohms, we have continuity. So now if we touch these together, it should beep. Let's see how fast that is. It's very fast. Now if I take a resistor here, this will also measure resistance. Here's diode. I have a little diode here. So I'll measure it one way. We have nothing. Turn it around. And we have 0.198 volts. So we know that's working. If it measured voltage both directions, that means it's not. Here we have capacitance. Got a couple of capacitors here. Now these are polarized. So I put my minus on the minus side. You'll want to hold these on here for a minute. Oops. So I have 3.181 microfarad, so that's 330. Here's a larger one here, this is 120. So I'm getting 106 there. Now there are going to be different tolerances on these, and these are older used ones, so you won't always expect to get the exact value on the capacitor. So this is 4.7, let's try it. I got 4.47, that's pretty close. And then let's see what else we have here. I think that's all there. Okay, let's go to inductance. So that's the nice thing about this meter is it can measure inductance. So I have an inductor here, try and measure it. Again, I'll hold this on here. So I got 0 0.005 millihenries. Here's another one. Let's try this one. Here I got 0.182 millihenries. So that's a nice feature of this meter, is it supports all the stuff you have in a traditional multimeter, but it also can measure inductance. This does have a temperature probe also. We'll go to temperature here. There's just a little icon for it. I'll pull this out. Switch to temperature. So we have Celsius and Fahrenheit. And there's the little probe. So it's currently says 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Put my fingers on this. And you can see that raises pretty quickly. So if you're working on air conditioning systems, things like that, you can use that temperature probe. So the temperature probe range is minus 20 to 1000 degrees Celsius or minus four to 1832 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the Zoe ZT102L multimeter with inductance measuring. I like that this meter packs a lot of features into a really small size. You have all your traditional multimeter functions, and then you can also measure inductance, and it even has a non-contact voltage detector. So a meter like this would be great for doing household things, fixing appliances, working on cars. It would also be great for electronics, where you're measuring capacitors, resistors, inductors, and things like that. It was very easy to use. You just turn the knob to the type of thing you want to measure, and then press the yellow button to change the mode. So as I said before, this is a versatile little meter. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.